Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm working on the RV and I'm working on these little lights here. So this is my bunk area. So this is a bunk. There's a top bunk, bottom bunk area. It has these little push button lights. And however, there's no charging ports anywhere in this area. And this area is in a slide, so it's hard to, you know, get power to this area when the slide is moving in and out. So a great solution to this are these lights. I found these guys on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if you're looking for some. But what it's going to do, this this light here is going to replace that little push button light. The big benefit here is it comes with a USB port so we can charge devices, phones, tablets, etc. off of this light. And then it still has a switch for the light to work. So these, this is going to be a very simple installation. All we got to do is take it out, rewire it, and get it going. So here's how we'll install those. All right, I just pop, just get a little screwdriver, pop that off like that. Let me get a drill here. All right, all four screws are removed. All right, you want to disconnect the power. Okay, if you see here, the light. So in RVs, at least in this one, this one is, is wired black and white. And to test the wires, I'm gonna use a voltmeter. So if you have a voltmeter on the DC, on the DCV side here, I'm just gonna change it to 20. And that way I'll be able to see voltage-wise which one's going to be my positive, which one's negative. Uh, you want to make sure your wires are correct. Black is your common. Your red's going to be your other port here. And that way you'll be able to tell the polar polarity. So if I hit the red, red up, red and black up to one of those, it'll show me whether it's correct polarity or if I need to reverse them. The nice thing with these cap type connectors is they're actually removable and reusable. Okay, just like that. So black is showing, so this is showing 13.3 volts because it's actually plugged in. So I need to disconnect the power as soon as I want to take these out. But that's the correct orientation. So white is the is the ground, black is the is the positive lead. So it's not as straightforward as, you know, black is negative, red is positive. So be aware of that. All right, on this replacement light, it does have the wires marked. So it does have, let's see if we can get this to focus here. Okay, it does have black positive and the white negative so it's actually just going to match the same wires because we already have black and white up there it's going to match up there so the nice thing with these white caps is you can actually once you turn the power off see how they're crimped down well if i just turn it sideways and i get some you could use a needle needle nose plier you can use these wire crimpers you can actually just try to straighten this cap back out. Okay, this wire nut cap is actually kind of in a... I'm actually just going to have to cut the wire because then... The cat, I can't remove the cap. It's it's pinched down in three locations and I can't straighten it back up. So not a big deal. This one looks like I might be able to save this one. Let's see. Let's get into the white one here. So basically if you just try to like because they're pinched in on one side, if you try to straighten it out, it'll release the wire and you can reuse the wire cap. Okay, the power, I turned my power switch off so we don't have power here, so we're safe to cut these wires, strip them. Okay, 
Looks like these are a 12 gauge wire coming in. All right, I stripped these back a little bit so I have more wire to work with. So we're going white to white. Luckily, these, these are made specifically for RVs, so the wiring is color-coded. So I'm just going to twist on my white. I'm going to use a new wire nut. This, these don't come with it, these little caps. I just have a bunch on hand because having an RV, you're doing a lot of electrical stuff. So pick you up a couple of these caps. You can pick them up at most hardware places. Okay, you just crimp it down. That's done. Now our black wire. I want to make sure we have good connection here. Just want to wrap this light wire around the lead wire a few times. Okay, there we go. Put our nut on. And on on these particular wire strippers, it has these crimper options here at the bottom that really are good for crimping these wire nuts. All right. So before I get this mounted back up, I'm actually just going to turn the power back on and make sure it works, make sure we got some charging, and then we can screw it back up to the wall. All right, turn the battery switch back on. All right, turns on. Great. I'm going to go get a USB cable. I'm just going to plug it in and plug my phone in, just make sure that's working. Then we can get it mounted. All right, we've got our USB cable here. Okay, the USB is charging. Now, the nice thing, you don't have to have the the light on for it to charge. It can be charging with the light off, which is great, which is really what this is going to be used for, is really just charging a device, a tablet, a phone, uh, for those that are using the box. Okay, the bottom bunk bed area has a light as well. We're going to switch that out, and then I'm also going to do one above the bunk over the cab. So these RVs, as you know, if you have an RV, this is a 2019. This is a Forest River Sunseeker Class C RV. And even though it's not a top of the line one, there's just very little 12 volt charging areas in this whole thing. I mean, this is this is can sleep up to 10 people, and there's very few charging ports. So, this is a great solution. It's pretty you know pretty pretty affordable, and it's just going to give you that charging option. You can put these above your bed, above the dinette, everywhere there's a light. You could put this light. I think they're you know under 20 dollars per light. At least gives you a nice option to have charging where there's light where, where there's light. So. I'm just going to take off this, this plastic light guard comes off and then there's some screw holes and we'll just screw it back up there and hopefully it covers up these existing holes here. Okay, so that just pops off like that. You can see there's four holes. Okay, we're just going to tuck those wire nuts back into the wall. Tuck the wire back as far as it goes. Let's see here. Yeah, it'll cover up pretty good. Those existing holes will be covered up. That's good. So we'll just screw it up right there. We'll be done. The only thing that the light comes with are the screws. It doesn't come with the wire nuts, so you'll you'll need to provide those or reuse the existing ones if you can get them off. It looks like I did have to you're going to have to use or make new holes in the wall. The hardware is a regular Phillips head, so you don't have to have the special RV square head screwdriver. You can just use a regular Phillips head. last one okay still works if you see there there's the leds so it is an led light it's low low power consumption 
and pretty bright. Look, it does look like it's a soft, soft light color, which for like a reading light, that's probably all you'd want anyways. I didn't see that there were different color options to the light. Okay, we are good to go. That's on. I guess you I could have turned it so the USB port was on this side if I would have turned it around. I kind of like that it's on that side. It doesn't make it as obvious. Plus the switch is easy to find on that side. So this light's ready to go. I'm going to replace three more. Pretty straightforward. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments in the... Uh, yeah, down in the comment section if you have any and check out the link uh, the links for this in the description so thanks for watching